it's kind of working again. And the reason, I believe, is because I made a slight modification to the nozzle cap. I'll show you what I'm talking about as soon as I'm through here. Okay, this may not work. I haven't tried it. You're seeing it along with me for the first time. And what I'm going to try and do is show you what I saw with my other microscope. The, the other microscope is, uh, is actually better at uh, viewing something like this uh, than this one is. But the other one is not camera friendly. Whereas this one I can if I have a set at its minimum power, I can kind of make it work. Okay. Now. Let's see what we can see, if anything, here. Okay, everything is uh, okay. I will focus a little bit. Oh yeah, this might work. Yeah, this might actually work. Okay. Well, there's the, there's our nozzle. Okay. I could maybe even go a little bit more powerful yet. It's on 40 power. I wonder what would happen if I went on. 100 power. For the fun of it, let's try it. Is it going to work here? Yeah. Alright, let's get our lights on here. Uh, now this is actually working better than I thought it would. Um, notice on the end of the nozzle there where it appears that the metal is deteriorating. It's coming apart right at the very, right at the very tip. That's about as sharp as I can get it. Um, yeah. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is this is this is what I was seeing with the other microscope and I was seeing it about as good as you're seeing it right here with this one here. Um, well, almost. I mean, uh, you're almost seeing it as good. I could actually see it in 3D, so I was... Uh, but anyway, we've been down that road. Um, let's go to the computer room. I've got something I want to show you. Well, I've sort of got it drawn out here. And uh, I'm going to try and show you what I'm talking about graphically. In other words, we'll, we'll zoom in on it here. And we'll take a look at the nozzle. And uh, well, instead of talking about it, what I'm going to do, I'll just show it to you. Okay, here's our airbrush. And I hope this is going to work all right because I've got screen recorder running at the same time in the background here and I don't have the fastest computer in the world but I think it's going to work. Now the blue represents air. Okay. The red represents the paint and the yellow here 
Well, that represents the brass nozzle. Now, when you press down on the valve, or on the button, a little valve opens up and the air comes up into this area here. Now, you have to picture this whole area, this whole thing being under pressure surrounding the nozzle. Now, what what keeps the air pressure from going back up into the into the uh, bowl here is the fact that it is sealed right here. Okay, the nozzle is tight up against the body, and what keeps the paint from flowing out is the fact that the needle, this gray thing, represents the needle. It's plugging the hole, and uh, if we were to move the needle back. What's going to happen is, let me zoom, I'm going to just zoom in on this tip area because this is what's important. This, this is what I believe our problem is. Okay, so we move the needle back and the, and the paint, represented in red, can now get out. Also shooting out of here, as soon as you push down on the button on the, air, on the airbrush, the air, because it's under pressure, this is open and it rushes out here, all, all the way around this thing, it rushes out. And it forms a vacuum right here, because the air is rushing out this way, it wants to take everything with it, okay? So it forms a little vacuum here, and it, it atomizes the paint, puts it into little micro droplets, and then shoots it out on whatever, you know, you're trying to paint. Now, let's assume that this yellow brass uh, nozzle wears down. And, and, uh, and I think it might be wearing down. And you say, well, how could it wear down from paint? Well, I think it's wearing down, and I don't know. I haven't read this, and I haven't been told this. But let's, let's assume you bought yourself an ultrasonic cleaner and you were cleaning little parts with it. Well, you're going to notice that uh, the, the little parts are going to eventually over time become pitted from the cavitation of the, of the bubbles collapsing in the ultrasonic cleaner. And I think that possibly the same sort of thing is going on on, on our nozzle on the end. And it's slowly getting shorter and shorter and shorter as this wears down or the shape isn't exactly the same anymore, let's put it that way. And, and if, it's, if it's getting shorter, then it is no longer in the negative area of pressure, as it's coming out here, it's in the positive area, and the air is getting forced back inside. Okay? Getting forced back inside, because this whole thing is, is, is not sticking out like it's supposed to. Now, that's my theory. And I could be wrong, I could be all wet on this one, but it's, it's the only thing that I can think of. Uh, and the, the reason being is, when, when I was uh, uh, noticing there was bubbles coming up, the bubbles only came up uh, when I drew the needle back. Now, that would mean that if it, if it was leaking right here, then the bubbles would be coming up all the time. Okay, uh, that is when I, as long as I had the, the the uh, the valve pressed open. Uh, but it was only happening when I drew the needle back. <clears throat> the bubbles came up. So the only possible place they could be getting in is here on the end. Um, like I say, I'm beating this to death. I know. Uh, I have a tendency to do that. I. Uh, I keep thinking of a better way to word what I'm trying to say, and I just can't. And uh, I think uh, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, let's see if we can't get a new uh, a new nozzle. Now, in case you're wondering why am I going with these people, well, Tony recommended them. 
and his recommendations and advice has not been too far off. In fact, it probably hasn't been off at all throughout this entire build. And uh, he's given us a lot of advice. I think a lot of you viewers have read his comments. Anyway, he recommended Maple Airbrush, Edmonton, Alberta. Now, if you happen to live in Australia, I don't know how good these folks are going to be for you. However, I do think they have international shipping, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. It might be Canada only. Sort of like William Woodwright in pen turning. Uh, he only ships to Canada. So, I don't know, maybe these guys only ship here in Canada as well. Anyway, enough rambling on here. Hi Don, I'm calling from Winnipeg. Hello. And I need an airbrush nozzle. I'm actually on your website right now. Okay. I'll, all I have to do is click pay now and everything's going to go to you. But I all of a sudden thought, maybe you don't have them in stock and you've got my money and I'm going to get it when? No, if it lets you go through the checkout, then you're good to go. And I'm fully stocked in nozzles right now. Oh, okay, Seed great. Nozzles, all of that, and then it'll ship out on Monday. Okay, thank you, Don. I'll I'll click uh, pay now, and you'll get it within a minute. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was painless. Order is being processed. You're automatically. Out seventy-five dollars and eight and seventy-eight cents. That's a lot of money for two tiny little pieces. Well, we'll see what happens here. Now I don't know if you actually heard that, but my iPad just went ting to let me know that I had a confirmation email. These guys are on the bit. Okay, some of you might be wondering why did I order the nozzle cap? That's this little guy right here. Okay, the problem the way I see it is the nozzle is shortening you can't I can't lengthen the nozzle so what is the next best thing I could do well the next best thing I could do is take and shorten shorten the nozzle cap and uh, that's that in effect lengthens the nozzle and as you noticed it the airbrush did start working again um, no you just can't keep on doing that so that's why I ordered the new parts and I don't know how much I shortened this little guy by, but I'm, I'm estimating, uh, oh, one or two thousandths of an inch. Well, you can see I took it off. It got right down to the, I guess, brass or whatever this thing's made of. I think it's chrome-plated brass. That's my uneducated guess. Anyway, enough poking around here. And uh, all being well, we'll see you again tomorrow. And <laughs> thanks for watching.